Hey guys, this is Game Jammin' and I'm giving you an arena run of Hearthstone and I'm with my special guest, Will! He's my best buddy from high school, college, and you... We, did you follow me or were, was I I'm following you? I'm pretty sure you? you were the token white guy who followed me around. Okay, well, okay <laughs> to be fair though, when I went to go work for West Digital, you followed right after me. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was your dad making you... Your oh, okay, that was my dad. Alright, fine. Fair enough. <laughs> No, whatever. But whatever, we've been uh, best friends for a while, and uh, he's too actually long. yeah, it's been too <laughs> long, pretty much. Uh, he's pretty good at Hearthstone, and uh, a lot of times when I'm making choices, he's like, "Why did you do that?" So I figured this time with him here, we can make decisions together about how we want to build the deck and play it. Uh, we'll probably I don't know if we're gonna take turns when we're actually playing the game or not, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna try to play together as best we can, hopefully. I think you. I will just watch you play, then I'll complain. As complain, you. yeah. So you that can way, pull the chair in if you want. That way, you know, okay, if you lose, it's your fault. But if you win, it's you know my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Um, which class? I'm thinking. Whatever you are. Whatever I kind of like rogue. Okay. Rogue is fun to do. <laughs> no. Weapon classes are pretty fun. Yeah. I like weapon classes. So of these, I think definitely questing adventure is the best one. Just yeah, going with sure. the. I mean, rogue, you then you can do spam a lot of low cost cards, yeah? Yeah. Mm, Jeweled Scarab, have you used him? Um, you know what? I've never seen him before. I haven't played. Okay, so this is one of the new cards. He's Not only does it give you a card, uh, the way the discover mechanic works is it will pull either a neutral or a rogue card. Oh. So, if you've got any three-cost road cards like Flurry, it's basically a way of getting a Flurry. Oh, so for free. It'll, it'll do like characters and spells it, and anything. Yes, yeah, so it'll do it'll do any type of card, but it'll only do your class or neutral. So it won't give you like it won't give you a warlock spell. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's pretty good. It's low cost. You can throw it out, draw a card, draw whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, Tomb Pillager is really yeah, cool. I like coins. I like that. Not the stats aren't bad. I kind of like him too, but I'll take the coin. Uh, yeah, I think so. Until I get to a point where I'm like actually need to hit a minion. These are pretty cruddy. I'd probably <clears throat> lean toward the unstable goal. Hmm, depends. Or do you are you are you planning to use like a? Actually, it's pretty hard to tell what you're gonna do with your deck. Yeah, I'd say unstable goal is safer right now. Yeah, just at least it's a taunt, right? These are pretty terrible choices. I mean, I'd probably just go with the size, the 4, 5, 5, just because he's big. It's true, he's big. I mean, straight up, like, late game, if you have no board, at least throwing down the 5, 5 is better than anything else. That's true. Actually, a lot of times I avoid him, but I think it's better than the choices that were there. Oh, I think definitely the charge. The charge is good. Yeah, I agree. Um, I like him. In comparison to the other choices, I think he's probably best. Yeah, I think so too. I don't care for them that much. Um, I mean, considering the fact you did the, the questing adventure, and then you also have the Anubar ambusher and stuff, you have this combo, possible combo. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Um, I'd probably do Silver Hand Recruit. Yeah. You don't want late game. Yeah, not gonna go for late game. I go backstab. Yeah, backstab. Backstab's too good. Uh, Blade Flurry is cool, but I have not pulled a single, uh, boost yet. I would still probably go Blade Flurry at the moment. I yeah. Mean, the, your other option is, what, a zero with two taunt? I mean, the only reason why you'd have him is if you're trying to stall out or trying to... Like, boost your quest boost questing your guy. Questing, but, <laughs> yeah, and then two five is just too horrible. You don't have any spells. Yeah. You don't know if you're going to get any spells. Ooh, Magna Rager. Yes! No. No. If it was the ice guy. The ice guy, there's some reason for it, maybe. Um, Gang up seems completely pointless. You know, actually, I don't know about that. Uh, into your deck, though. Yeah, yeah maybe just War Golem and then, what, you have a 7-7 seven, seven late game. Not the end of the world. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, here. I'm leaning toward the Shattered Sun Cleric, but, I mean, these. this is a really good stat for a 6-drop. I do like Shattered Cleric, but I would still go Boulder, I think. He's just... 
I think so too. I think that's the safe choice. I mean, yeah. I I agree with you on that one. Um, I think I I'm think you have enough twos. I think you're good. Go for the fours. Yep. Uh, He's cool. I could still go ogre though. Yeah, ogre is a good choice for I three. Still, I would still go ogre in this case, just because you don't have enough threes. Yep, I agree. Um, I get a little backstab. Yeah, I have a backstab, but there's no, there's no choice <laughs> there. Um, I leaning yeah, to mad bomber. I think mad bombers. Wait, how many? You, you have any battle cries? Uh, not really. Let's see. One battle cry. One battle cry. Yeah. Yeah, I still. I, I, st I, I don't like the one four. Like, <laughs> still, oh, do you really still, want a one four? Still bad bomber, yeah. Yeah. Um, I go six to six cost the heal. Go for the heal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you're uh, you hit with your face a lot. That's true. That's true. Uh, I go. I, I went on Sass name if it hurts. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any dragons, right? No. Just double checking. I don't remember any dragons. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, I would go with the Torn. Yep. Oh, those are great cards. Inspired. Interesting. Mountain Giant, no point. Kodo Rider is can be really good at the end of the game, although normally I don't want to be, like, put... You already have three late game. Maybe the Faceless? If I get, like, Faceless Assassin. <laughs> Steal some of these cool cards. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's safer. Like, more likely have, to be. You have two characters that give you coins, right? So, like, you have actually a pretty good shot of playing that turn six and. or turn six or turn seven with a coin in your hand because of your fours. Yeah. Remember? So, you have a pretty good chance of just getting that value out. Um, I would play the five cost here. The Stormpike? I'd probably do Stormpike here. Yeah. Salty Dog, you know, has really good stats, but. These are tough. Oh. This is tough because you really want to draft him whenever you can. He's good, but it's like you have four late game cards already for an assassin deck. Um, this is such a good choice, though, for three drops. He's also good. But how many three costs do you have now? One, two, three, four. You probably do one more. I think so. And it's got charge. I mean, charge with the divine shield is really nice to have. What other options do you have? Not going for a shadow step, anyways. I don't think. As much as I want a shadow step, I don't think I have like battle cries to abuse or anything like that. Mm, you have Defius, which is really good. You have Blue Gill, which is really good. Jewel Scarab, which actually might be pretty good if you're short on cards because you have no card draw. Um, That's a good point too. Uh, you've got your Anubar Ambusher, if. You know, if he gets to low health, I could take him back up. Or my you hand. can take something else back. You can, like, you can hit with something else, take it back, so he doesn't return. I don't know. Actually, yeah, you can take him back. Um, I mean, there you, you can worst case storm pike possibly. I th I'd say North Sea Kraken would be too much, just because you you can jam your hand pretty easily with more than four. Like you already have storm pike, yeah, Holder, Kodo priest, and war golem. Like you really don't want that many. Um, I mean, he's so good, but I think we already drafted. So, do you think the shadow step then? <sighs> Tell you what, let's try it. I normally don't draft shadow step, but I think I think shadow step might not be a bad idea here. Let's try it. See how um, it goes. I'm almost inclined to do another jeweled scarab. Yeah, why not? He uh, really wants us to have an ambusher, apparently. Uh. In comparison to the other cards, I don't want another unstable ghoul. Yeah, I think another ambush. I mean, four four cost is fine. Yeah, at least it's a strong four cost. I eviscerate. Eviscerate, yeah. Um... What do you got? <laughs> <We're> like... <laughs> All in on this this one. Uh, I I like this. It's kind of cool. And now that I have a shadow step, it almost makes sense. Uh, but that's a heck of a lot of two drops. You know, I don't think two drops hurt that much. You know what? Yeah, I I would go for the two drop. Okay, I I, I just like it for the combo ability. Uh, Doomsayer? No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is. Do you have any mechs? I don't remember drafting any mechs. Oh, I don't think we drafted any mechs at all. Nope, no mechs. No mechs. 
return the minion to owner's hand. That's not terrible. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're probably gonna be able to coin him a couple of times this game since you already have two. That's two true. I, this is a coin deck, apparently. I want to go second each time. Let's do it. Two drop. Yep. Actually, the divine shield isn't terrible, but I think two drops is good. It just because it boosts your. I go for knife. five. The taunt is not bad, especially when you're probably gonna be, you might be hitting people with your face a lot. Yep. Yep. Um, whenever you summon a pirate, gain stun. Uh, in the sea of me mediocrity, this is probably the only reasonable choice. I don't even have a pirate. Um, I, mean, I guess I could go for Light Warden, but like... You have a heal. You're... <laughs> I do have a heal. This is, the synergy is there. <laughs> hey, you never know. I could go against a priest deck, okay? Um, you know, maybe... it's, okay, it's definitely not him because I don't want to be sitting there with a card that can't attack. And I don't even have a way of taunting him. This, maybe, but then it's so easy to clear, it's, like, pointless. If you're against the mage, you may as well just hold it. Yeah, you, may, <laughs> hold it for, you might as well hold it to combo with something. Yeah. Actually, just for the sake of being able to combo with something, a one cost is okay. Actually, you're right. yeah, right. What's funny is that what it, it's doing is it's reading these, like, log files, and things happen before the animations appear. Oh, I see. Uh... I don't want this, and this in the beginning is probably... Probably. Yeah, I'd probably keep the drills care of just because you can play that early, whatever. Fine, she pings it, she pings it. Ooh. Interesting. Decent cards to start with. This would have been a really good turn what to have a point. Zero, 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 one. Oh, where? On, on the enemy up here. Oh, this is saying what came as initial cards, and it's actually tracking where the cards are oh, in the hand. Okay. Greetings. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can actually, I have a combo here with that. Not right now, but. Um, so the question is, do you want to try to clear those out as fast as possible? Or do I just play it slow? I play it slow. I say play it slow. All right. I mean, I guess you can play through your turn three as well right now. Yeah. Uh, you have no mech. Ooh, I like your fencing coach. Actually, the fencing coach is kind of cool. I think it combos really well with your cards in hand right now, too. You can buff up the weapon for free. I'd, I'd go with fencing coach. Okay. I mean, fencing you have no death rattles in your in your hand anyway right now, right? So it doesn't yeah. really matter. No, no need to backstab up in here. So I guess he could have done the battle. Uh, that's the only battle cry I have, and even then, it would have been hard to, to land that. Had to wait to turn five or something. Oh, secret deck. Oh, perfect. This will work out good. So you can just clear them both. Uh, yeah. Wait. Mm, all right, fine. Oh, you think I should wait for the? Uh... No, no, no. I think you're good. I think you're good. I think you're good. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to wait that long for it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Should I backstab right no, now? No, no, no. You want the combo? Yeah. In case you need the combo. With the understanding. Oh, you might have been... No. Maybe backstab the secret dude? I don't know if it's really worth it at this point. Yeah, he traded. He just traded anyways, right? He really wants that secret thing up. It's probably a copy minion or something, so it doesn't really matter that much. If, it's, if we're lucky, it's a copy minion. I can put this out and... Uh... Backstab and put it out? Yeah. Cool. Uh, is this you just hit it with your face to pop it? And then I say backstab it. And then I guess just. <laughs> Duplicate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then put him out, and then. Wait. Yeah. Truthfully, if he's going to get duplicate minions, I kind of okay with him having the... Well, this uh, one's a free one, right? The Noyotrons or whatever? I mean, you don't want to give him two of these because then it's like a free two taunts. Yeah. I 
okay. Um, actually, that's not so bad because now you you can actually. Okay, do you want to start removing them now, or? Yeah, I'm debating. I'm debating how to handle that. I'm almost like put out the Fen Creeper, make it so that he can't attack back yeah, at me. Yeah, probably can... probably Fen Creeper and just hit it with your head because it's only one damage and then just clear the zero one, so you just you protect him. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. So the zero zero one three four five is what turn you you drew those cards on. Yep. So that's how you know whether like you, those are cards from the beginning of the game or what turn you drew them in. That's kind of cool. It'll even show you the coin too, right? Which you already played, but. Being kind of aggressive with that. That's fine. Yeah, so he does 8 damage to whatever. I know, seriously, he can't even get past the taunts, so it's not even that big a deal, right? I'm almost inclined... Oh, no, I have to get past the taunts first. Um, so, I mean, I think you still gotta just use up the last charge in your weapon. You're not gonna try to pump it up just to get rid of the shield, right? Yeah, so just do this, right? Yeah. Okay, so get rid of this. Attack both of them, right? Yeah. Not much else to do. All right, now here's where you go. All right. Tomb Pillager Defias? I mean, I, I've got a big wall. Oh, but he could get past it somehow. If he nukes it aside and he hits you first, then... Could just go with the big guy. Instead of going with the big guy, I, I'd probably do your, your other way. Tomb Pillager Defias? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't have coin into um, Flame Strike, so you're okay for one turn unless he has Blizzard, but... Blizzard, Blizzard. If he has, yeah, I mean, there's only so many things you can play around, right? It's like, I, I don't necessarily want to set him up, but... But if he has Blizzard, then he still has to hit through your your uh, Fen Creeper. Uh, Perfect. I can manage that. So this might be a good turn for the questing guy. Maybe. Oh, is he going to attack in? No, he's not going to attack you. That would be foolish. What? <laughs> what? Okay, that's that seemed like a poor... Dude, I'm going to just take the free kill. Ooh, cool pull. Uh, should I play that? But I kind of like want to get the two... It's oh, but maybe I should just use him up. I think. Maybe you just do your low drops and do your weapon, arm weapon, and questing. Or, I mean, put your questing down and start building him up. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Yeah, yeah. And then just throw in... Ooh... Do you, do you like that? Okay. Uh, the 3-1, he can just ping through it anyways, I'm just, or at least that's what I'm thinking. I would just do damage with yourself, right? I mean, while you still have your weapons. Here we go. Don't do damage. I can attack, right? Yeah. Okay. There. Now you're, uh, Sorry, this is this is the part where we would have been like, no, wait, wait, wait! Okay, well, maybe it's okay. We'll, we'll see how this works. So the next turn, you attack him again, then you can... Koto Rider, yeah. Koto rider and then building up your questing. Unless you get more small drops, which is nice too. I mean, we're already in such a decent position, anyways. It's like he has to have he has to have flame strike or blizzard or freezing field or something. Yeah, we can attract most of the enemy on the battlefield. Your only minion or any any minion on the field. basically it can't attack right now. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, just try, seriously. Maybe try attacking with your something just to try to see what secrets he's got. Uh, maybe it's Vaporize? Oh, that's right. It tells you. Okay, so it's not Vaporize. Um, We're just going to put something out. I have to, right? Yeah. Oh, he might duplicate it. Yeah. Well, I can always assassinate it the next turn, that's right? That's true. That's true. Uh, what? I'm just going to avoid it. Is it the thing where it's like, if you... If it dies, you get two of them or something. It might be the um, <laughs> what's what effigy? What the counter spell? What's effigy? I've never seen that. One. Effigy is if you attack into it and it dies, it summons a one cost lower card. It's like having oh, a pilot turning something into a pilot shredder. Oh. Um, and then counter spell, obviously, just counter spell. Right. right, right. Um, there's also the uh, ice bl block. Oh, well, spellbender for. It whatever spell is targeted, it'll go target that minion instead. Oh, I see. 
But seriously, what is he going to do from this point? I'm at 24 health. He is going to die. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let me double check because it might be that he's. Oh, wait, uh, hit him with your. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say like, come on now, really. All right. What was the third card? Silver hand. Oh, Anabar. Okay. That's actually a pretty good. It's nice to have. It's a good opening. I might ditch your silver hand recruit for now. Silver hand regent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the torn just you know his AOE like does one to everything is. You know, he doesn't really want- We to... have the combo! <laughs> <laughs> you doubled your card draw, you know. Easy. Doubled your card draw, no problem. Oh, I could coin him out. I would actually coin him out. <laughs> it's just like too funny, it's like, oh out. yeah, oh yeah, look at that. I don't I don't think I'd pick him back up again, but I'd coin him out, no problem. Ooh. Oh, shade of next round. I kind of want to do the shade. I like the shade. All right, it's shady, but it's okay. So the shade doesn't do too well with your Anu bomb, whatever. But who cares? Not funny. Oh, he has nothing. Fuck yes. Should I shadow step to do the extra damage? No, <laughs> that's so dumb. Come on, no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, should do I do knife or should I put out the Undercity? I'd probably knife. That seems kind of slow, though, doesn't it? But you have a lot of cards that, or you have cards that add to your weapon and stuff like that. Right, I don't enough. know. I like having a weapon on hand just in case. Cause yeah, it's... no, that's a good idea. Like, yeah, you put one damage in him, you remove an armor, but, and you have a character on board, I guess. But a weapon is a lot harder to remove. Like, do. Oh. Just a three forward con. See, now you have a weapon. Hmm. You know what? Let me just play against Ramos. And, um, Do I attack into it? <laughs> or shadow step it? So it doesn't even just shadow step it. I say shadow step it. You can't beat the card draw, right? I, I don't yeah. really have like great plans for for. And then you just play it again. Should I play it right now? Okay. Edwin Van Cleef. Oh my God. Or you can alarm a bot him. <laughs> Should I try to alarm a bot? <laughs> you can try. I don't think it hurts. I think it's just kind of trolly. Yeah, it's pretty much gonna troll me, I think. <laughs> I we're gonna end up having to wait a turn, I think. Cause Oh, he does have a weapon. can um, play your weapon and then play your two drop. I guess. Play the two drop and then play deal one damage. And just trade your three drop in, you think? Or do you want to hold on to it? I kind of want to hold on to it, but nah, I, don't, I don't know if there's much point. Yeah, I don't know if there's any point in holding on to it, really. Yeah. I mean, they still have board this way, and he has to hit you back with his weapon, so... So I should just, uh... I can just wait, Yeah, right? just wait. You don't have to do nothing. Okay. Because he's going to blow all his stuff, and then you play your um, alarm robot, and then he'll just uh, have no answer. Yeah, he'll just concede. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm robot. The alarm robot pulls out the war golem, right? Mm-hmm. That's the plan. Ooh. <laughs> I like how we both did at the same time, like, ooh. It's actually okay though. I don't think he. Oh yeah, he can't clear the board right now. Ooh, you can just kill it. Yeah, I'll take that. Good draft. <laughs> good draft. Right. Good choice. Good choice. That was exactly what we wanted. That was the play. That was the play. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm then turn six, you can alarm a button, Torin. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm a bot in Torin. Battle card, you're holding a dragon. Gain plus one attack and charge. Nope. Okay. Can't handle that, right? I'd probably alarm a bot in Torin. Okay. 
He'll be like, what? Who plays the Lime Robot? And he'll be like, uh, I do. <laughs> Clearly. And, and I can clear it out, right? Uh, yeah. I think, I, I think that's the best way to do it. You protect your Lime Robot. <laughs> I protect my Lime Robot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> what do I do? Oh, that's a really good card. Yeah, gonna have to assassinate that one. Yeah. Oh. That's a combo. That is a combo. I just assassinate that. That's... Oh yeah. Goodbye. Um, maybe even just. I'm gonna say, I, I would backstab me. I'm gonna want to clear the board, yeah, right? Weapon, 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 backstab. Okay, so... Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, do that way. That's right. Yeah, I'd do it like that. Okay. You got the... Backstab, 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 backstab. Backstab for a good call. Good call. <laughs> <All right. laughs> this is one of those times where you've been like, no, I'm already done. And I'm like, oh, I couldn't get my backstab to work. I don't understand. That alarm robot paid off already. Dude, seriously. That's <laughs> like the, the dumbest thing, and it worked. It's I was funny. like, I think we should do alarm robot. Now, if we get really lucky, we get a two drop or, or one drop that we can um, put down so that we remove, can just, just remove, remove his, whatever minion he puts down. Or you play it. Huh. Oh, I should stream. Actually, recording right now with Phil. Oh, boy. You He's shield blocking? Ouch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, that's fine. He just. He's gonna. Well, I meant like it's gonna hurt him. He's gonna have to attack in. No, that he misplayed there. He should hit first and then shield block. You always want more armor on um your. Uh, yeah. Your uh, what do you call it? Okay, uh, so I can't put him out. Oh, just two drop and. No, you want to. Two drop and your um your alarm robot again. Think so. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Right. And then hit, hit and weapon. Like he should, he should have taken the HP hit and then armored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Whatever. He's like, damn it, that alarm about again. <laughs> Seriously, he's like, <laughs> from now on, I'm always be careful of alarm robots. Like that alarm robot. How do you get around it? No. It worked so well with your measly peon taunts. wasn't as helpful this guy is but at least it's not this guy either which i have to be careful of yeah all right um, boulder's just alarm robot why not i just kill the three two i guess yeah not much to do here no, i wouldn't even hit him yeah no point He's gonna have to go for your alarm robot. He's gonna go for the alarm robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ooh, so strong. Let's get rid of it. Like this damn alarm robot has given you so much. So, dude, your deck is like, um, what do you call it? Resource curve deck. It's like you got alarm robot and coins. Well, that only came from the the jewel scarab, that's right? That's true. That's true. But right now, it's like seriously uh, resource advantage. Nah, it was good for him. Whatever. Your HP is about equal. Your board is you're winning in board. Perfect. Um, I say. Oh, actually, I'll just attack with. My, should I use my face? That's a little bit risky. No, he he has armor. So just backstab him, right? I'd say so. Yeah, it's fine. And if you return the card to hand later, it's even better. Actually, that might be fine, right? Should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it literally cannot do anything, but that's okay. I mean, what, it goes back to your hand again? Yeah. Whatever. The only problem is if it's like a death bias or something. Uh, actually, it doesn't even matter. You have one, you have, you're, you're just... Uh, it, won't, it won't activate. Yeah. Can't activate right now. Cool. 
get him out. Now, the trick here is, I think at this point I might just do an ignoring move. And just hit his face? Yeah. Um, I might clear this guy because I can. Alarm bot. No, no, with the 5-5. Five, five, at least if he dies, then... Yeah. You know what? If you do 11 damage to him now, how much life he'll have? He'll have... 7, 8, 9. Yeah. That threatens him. But the problem is he's just going to clear this so easily. Yeah, that's true. So I figure get rid of this and then do 6. This is still... That's fine. This is actually enough for... No, I'm one off a of lethal because he can armor. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was like, wait, why did you do that? <laughs> that uh, seems like a poor choice. I think I, um, Blade Flurry. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is real tricky there's i mean there's really no reason to hit anything right now i just think i don't know would you just pressure his hp or would you i kind of want to put damage in here because then i can clear it next turn but then, that's true that's true yeah yeah and it's only two damage anyways i'd rather take two than yeah, yeah. some other big minion no that's a good point this is tricky. What will happen now? <laughs> that was funny. I was all like, wait, you realize that the alarm bot's just going to heal that six stuff? Yeah, <laughs> and pull it out for free. <laughs> I, was like, I mean, the only thing it did, it might as well just be like freeze minion or something. Yeah, pretty much. While healing it. Not at all. At least I have a powerful minion coming out. Thank you. So I'm at 15 life. He can do, he can do 10 to me. If I do six, that'll put him at 11. But he's will be right back at 13. Yeah, you guys are both. I would I have to have the full board here. You have to attack, yeah. And you don't attack into this. Yeah. Probably don't attack into this. So I'm just gonna go in here. Yeah. In case he gets a weapon, because if he does get a weapon out, then you're in a lot more. Pain. left i got 13 though it's not going to get the fatigue the heal might come in and be like priestess and it'll be like what i think priestess is pretty good for um assassin just because it's um yeah it kind of works you you do so much damage to yourself with your head Ooh. Not much point in attacking anything else. Yeah. So he's probably gonna do five damage to face. No, he's gonna he's gotta clear out the uh I think he'll clear. I mean the coin doesn't help you that much at this point. Yeah. You don't have sprint, you have no card draw, but he doesn't know that. Oh, sprint would could, be perfect. I, what I really want is the Coda Rider to come out. Oh yeah. That'd be really helpful. That has so much value. Apparently did not. Oh, that's yeah, really good for him. <laughs> He's too scared of it. <laughs> All right, can't do anything about that. Is it? Should I just hold it? I don't know how much value it is. is no, it... I wouldn't hold at, at this. No, no. When you're when you're um, this low. When you're on both on um. What do you call it? When you're both on draw, yeah. I would just go all in and try to just finish it. Like, there's no point in holding for anything. Yeah. It's 
Yeah, they throw your dark side in pretty much. You have a lot of late game that you haven't pulled though. Yeah, I haven't pulled um, the Fen Creeper, Kota Rider, or the. Your Illusion. Ooh, that was good. Yep, that was smart to do too. Oh yeah, definitely. Without a doubt, go like this. Yeah, no option. Literally have to hope for something really good. It is good. like literally who draws better now. Yeah. No, he's obviously way at advantage right now. Yeah, his hero ability is just a double of those. Yeah. Oh. I can't attack him. Hit his face. Yeah. I literally have to draw some sort of damage. Yeah. I haven't right. drawn my eviscerate. What's up with that? Or your heal. Yeah. Oh man, you're missing a lot of cards. Up. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, his deck beat yours out on a draw. You need to draw anything earlier instead of this stuff. Seriously. 